Mr. Beast has been officially cancelled. Or is he? After all the recent allegations towards him, everyone is saying this is the downfall of Mr. Beast. But to everyone's surprise, and after complete silence from Jimmy, his recent upload, despite a big unprecedented number of dislikes, is still closing in on 100 million views in less than 5 days. Which leads me to confidently say that Mr. Beast is uncancelable. It's just not possible. And in this video, I'll be explaining why. The Chris Tyson situation has been unfolding day by day, with new information coming out daily. First, it was a series of tweets and private snaps from Chris to a minor by the name of Lava. A conversation was posted revealing that Tyson had sent sexually suggestive messages to a minor who was only 13 at the time, then met up with the person once they turned 16. These messages were also paired up with old tweets that included Tyson joking about sending naked photos to the victim in question, screenshots of him calling a minor daddy or dad, using sexual language such as coming to America, and sending tons of kiss emojis while being a full-grown adult all started to surface. And then, new information came out regarding over half a million leaked Discord messages being sent with Mr. Beast present in the server. That also includes sexual messages, jokes, and remarks being sent with minors present, or being sent directly to minors. Now, I'm not going to go deeper into the leaks, because there are so many other creators that did a detailed dive with much better information, like Internet Anarchist's video that you can watch. But to highlight some of the disgusting messages that were sent, you can find screenshots of messages between Chris and other members of the Discord like I want your blank and Chris replying with You can have it right now Get your holes ready You have a massive blank Sent by none other than Lava the alleged victim And screenshots of Mr. Beast in the server also using the same language And with all of that aside A video from a YouTuber called Dogpack that has 10 million views till today was uploaded in the heat of all the allegations titled I work for Mr. Beast, he's a fraud this video was adding fuel to the already burning fire surrounding the Mr. Beast channel and further pushed new allegations and problems within the Mr. Beast channel that got more and more people to jump on the Mr. Beast cancellation train. In the 53 minute long video, the former employee explains how Mr. Beast engages in illegal lotteries through his videos, giveaways, and even his company festivals. He sells fake signatures as real ones and creates a cult-like following through emotional messaging like subscribe for a chance to be in future videos, subscribe for a chance to win $1,000, buy feastables for a chance at $10,000, subscribe for a free car, and other messages like this one, getting people hooked emotionally and basically telling young kids that the subscribe button can eventually win them a big reward or even participate in a Mr. Beast video. But the employee is claiming that this day will never come. He basically exposed Mr. Beast for rigging up his videos, showing evidence that most competitors in his challenges are either close friends, employees, or family members, and even gave some examples about Mr. Beast faking actual videos. You ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, uh, this raccoon is a paid actor, sure, this island costs more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, but it's not your only way out, you can literally get an Uber to the airport for $20. That's not a lurker, it's just a guy. This whole room is fake, this contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. Beast, they have through this fake door twice, this line is scripted, this action is scripted, uh, in fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. Now whether the examples he gave are solid proof of his statements or not, he did make a lot of good points regarding the illegal lotteries Jimmy allegedly runs disguised under a giveaway. This occurred most notably in his live stream where he was selling signed t-shirts. There were many moments where Jimmy would say a line like if you buy a t-shirt in the next 10 minutes, you will win X amount of money. In 10 minutes, right, because we gotta give them time to, to do their car, we'll give Two orders, five hundred dollars each. Five right. minutes, someone's getting three grand in their Someone, order. In five minutes, we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna put a thousand dollars in a random order. Two minutes, newest order gets two thousand dollars. Good luck, everybody. But the former employee then shows how most of the time he never actually fulfills his claim of giving away money, and he is randomly doing it on camera to any product that falls in his hands, not taking into account whether the person actually bought in the last ten minutes or not, and doing this while pushing his viewers to buy more and more T-shirts in the hopes that they win more money, which is basically gambling. One incident also showed how Jimmy also fakes his signatures on his merch, claiming it was him signing it, but in reality, it's one of his team members. In a moment on the live stream, a Mr. Beast member was shown signing a t-shirt with the MB signature, and after doing that, he is clearly seen trying to hide it after he noticed the mistake he has done, and that the cameras were still rolling and they are live. Tariq is also shown visibly concerned with what happened, as he noticed the mistake that occurred, and his whole body language changed. Now his gambling marketing technique was also put to work within his chocolate brand Feastables, where Mr. Beast would run many campaigns with the main headline being the buy for a chance to win X structure, in a way to get more people to buy his chocolate, whether it was buy to be in a video, buy to win 10k, or buy to win a Tesla. 
there was always a prize to be won for buying a chocolate bar, which further promotes gambling for his kid audience and gets them to spend more and more money on his brand in the hopes of them eventually winning. Both the Chris Tyson situation and this video exposing him collided, and they created some of the hardest two weeks for Mr. Beast and generated a huge wave of hate towards him. Reports about the Mr. Beast games being ran in a horrible way, with many of the contestants being physically and emotionally abused, health incidents, lack of proper planning, lack of food and drinks, and bad management, as well as many people not receiving their prescribed medication, starting to come up. Some people even started to claim that they won a certain prize from Jimmy that they never received. Now many of those claims were fake, and just created to jump on the Mr. Beast hate train and try to get something out of the situation. Things looked like it was going in the wrong direction, and everybody was waiting for Jimmy to come out and finally comment on everything. But instead, Mr. Beast remained silent, and even released a new video as if nothing happened, titled Survive 100 Days in Nuclear Bunker, Win Half a Million Dollars. Shortly after upload, people noticed the dislike number growing rapidly, with some reports claiming it reached more than a million dislikes. Now since all of the numbers come from third-party plugins, the real number is still unknown, but it surely reached more than a million, according to multiple resources. And it's not just that, a lot of people were noticing that any comments regarding any of the issues surrounding Jimmy were being deleted immediately by the Mr. Beast team. Yet, despite all of that, the performance of the video seems to be not affected at all. It is closing in on 100 million views in less than 5 days, and is one of the best performing videos compared to all of his previous ones. Furthermore, since all of this started, Mr. Beast still has gained over a million new subscribers. Which begs the question, can Mr. Beast be cancelled? This is not the first time people attempted to cancel Jimmy. We've seen it happen quite a few times. There were multiple situations where Jimmy faced cancellation regarding something he did. Granted, this time the allegations are more severe and more serious than any other time, but still, there were previous failed attempts. Most of the times, Twitter people get outraged by a video that Mr. Beast posted and start hating on him. It happened when he uploaded his famous Quit Game video and many people shared their thoughts on how outrageous it is that a YouTuber spent more than $3 million to make a video for fun instead of just donating the money to charity. Ironically, saying this about Mr. Beast himself, the only YouTuber that has a whole channel just for charity work. Now other attempts happened as well, most notably when he uploaded his IQ the thousand people's blindness, claiming he was taking advantage of blind and unfortunate people for his own personal gains and purely for content purposes and financial gains. Same thing with his I built 100 houses, I built 100 wells in Africa, and a thousand deaf people here for the first time. In each one of these cases, Mr. Beast adapted the silent treatment method, where if you don't reply to hate, you will eventually stop getting it, and people move on. But the more attention you give them, the more they will come, and every time a new cancellation wave happens, it dies within a few weeks, and things go back to normal. So to be quite honest, my answer is no. Mr. Beast cannot be cancelled, and for multiple reasons. Starting with the first one, he is just too big. Mr. Beast has over 300 million subscribers spread across the world, getting almost 3 billion views every month. A large part of his audience doesn't even speak English. Even if a huge part of his audience stopped watching him, he still would have tens of millions of people that don't even know about anything that is happening. They don't understand English, they haven't read any of the articles and allegations regarding Jimmy, and are not even up to date with all the news. They just love Jimmy's videos and will watch him every time he posts. He just has a huge audience that even if half his viewers stop watching, he will still have over 100 million people engaged. And even if he loses half his views, he will still be pulling over a billion views every month, which is more than enough both financially and relevancy-wise to remain at the top of the YouTube game. He is just clear above everybody else. Another reason Mr. Beast is uncancelable is the nature of his audience demographic. Most of the Mr. Beast audience are kids. They are not on Twitter, they don't follow the news, they don't even have the attention span to watch a 53 minute video exposing Mr. Beast or even read a two page article about the allegations, let alone hundreds of tweets. All they have is their iPad with the YouTube app ready to click on the notification that tells them that Mr. Beast has uploaded a new video. These are the same kids that are subscribing thinking they will win $1,000 or a free car or be in a Mr. Beast video, and they just don't care. They want to watch Mr. Beast spend a ton of money doing silly challenges and viral videos, and will watch anything he will post. The majority of the people actively engaged within the allegations, up to date with the news and everything that is happening, all fall within a bigger age demographic that would not impact the Mr. Beast brand to the slightest, because let's face it, the ones buying the merch, the chocolate, and the Mr. Beast branded items are the little kids, not the grown-ups. So even if, hypothetically, Mr. Beast loses half his audience overnight, he will still be able to pull in more views and have a bigger audience than 99% of YouTubers on the platform, which just goes to show how big Mr. Beast has become and how global he is. And it is just impossible for someone with his status and reach to become obsolete in just a matter of days. Many high-class mainstream celebrities have been involved in many controversies, like Andrew Tate, Katy Perry, The Kardashians, Drake, and even many other actors and artists. Yet, because of their global reach, they are able to maintain their relevancy and bounce back. 
Even if this time things look to be more serious, as previously mentioned, Mr. Beast is just too big to be cancelled unless he does something truly outrageous and he gets kicked out of the YouTube site, demonetized, and brands stop their working relationship with him. There is no one that has messed up more than Logan Paul, whether it's the Japan incident, the animal abuse incident, the crypto zoo scam, and yet he still pulls in more attention and engagement than every other influencer and has recovered many times. He still has a platform, is a WWE star, and is on the top of the entertainment world. Same thing with Speed, he was a exposed for promoting a crypto scam project and also his meat incident where he showed his private part live on youtube in front of thousands of kids and yet he is still bigger than ever so yes i don't think mr beast can be cancelled and i do believe that in a couple of months people will forget about the situation and mr beast will continue posting content getting more and more views now i am in no way saying that all the allegations and what he did or didn't do is right or wrong i'm not defending him nor am i on his side i'm just stating my opinion as a watcher from the outside don't forget to subscribe for more content about your favorite creators or your most hated ones